Turning a hobby into a successful business is really hard enough, but my next guest took on the challenge at just 10 years old and found a way to turn her passion for jewelry making into a multi-million dollar business. So please welcome Maddie, owner of M3 Girls Designs. How are you? Thanks for being here. Thank you. So, how old are you now? I'm 15. You're 15, yes. but you started this business when you were 10. Yes. Okay, will you tell everybody what the business is all about? Well, snap caps are interchangeable magnetic bottle cap necklaces, and so you can just swap the bottle caps out, and they stick right onto the necklace. Wait, that's so cool. Hang on one second. <laughs> I need to see. So, the necklace, hang on. So, it's... Oh, okay. So it's a snap. How did you come up with this idea at 10 years old? Well, I'm playing with it now. I'm like, it I love <laughs> stuff like this. Well, I was going into middle school and mm -hmm. I wanted magnets for my locker and okay. I couldn't find any that I really liked. And so I drew up some designs and put them into bottle caps. And I decided that I liked my design so much that I wanted to turn them into a necklace. What was the first step to start the business? Well, all my friends had really liked my snap caps so much that I went into a local toy store because I figured that other kids would probably like them as much as my friends did. Mm -hmm. And I just said, hi, my name's Maddie. I'm 10. I was wondering if you'd like to sell my product. And, and within, they said, yes, we would, because yes, you're 10 and the cutest exactly. person we've ever met. <laughs> and we'll sell it. But these are really cool. So how are they manufactured here, or where do you make them? They're all handmade in Texas. That's really cool. And you do you still do all the design work yourself? Yes, I draw all the original artwork and then we have 30 employees who make them. Are you still in school? Do you have an airplane? Like, what's going on? <laughs> yes, I am You still are? In school. Okay. And you have two employees that you, th you say would be really hard to fire. Why is that? <laughs> My sister is 10, and she's the vice president. And <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And she helps me come up with different designs. Okay. And my mom is the CEO, and she works at the office every day. That's great. That's really great. So what kind of response have you been getting um, since the company started? Well, it's really great because I get emails from little girls all the time telling me that they want to start their own business. And so that's really why I decided to write my own book was because just to inspire other kids to start uh, their own Well, business. that's one of the reasons why I wanted to invite you here today because I think it's... Isn't it an inspiring story? It really is. So... The book is written for younger people who want to be entrepreneurial and start their own business, and you kind of give them a step-by-step -step how to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's really great. What's the one piece of advice that you'd give to somebody starting a business? I think that just make sure whatever you do is your passion. For example, for me, I love art, and so it's great because I able to design snap caps and make a little bit of money at the same time mm -hmm. and so just make sure whatever you do is your passion I think that's really great advice so what's next for you well I'm really excited because um, I and I've also been really lucky that my and fortunate that my company has been able to take off and I think that there's probably a lot of other kids out there that maybe don't have the resources to start their own business and so I want Did to be it cost a lot of money for you to start this I started if with three hundred dollars of my own money okay and so maybe if kids don't have that money to kind of start up their own company to buy supplies mm -hmm. I want to be able to gift them so that they can start their own company that's really great well I heard about the scholarship um, and I know it's not set up yet but I want you to know when you set it up let me know I'm gonna make the first contribution because I think what thank you're doing you. is great I think thank you great. <laughs> great to meet you thank you so, Everyone here is going to go home with a copy of Maddie's book, You Can Start a Business Too, and something tells me it's not just for when you're 10, okay? I think we'll all be reading that. Um, when we come back, how to mix up the look in any room. We'll be right back.